thanks for dropping in. As you already saw, this week's project is a bit more damp than my usual designs. Will I get through this without turning my desk into a splash zone? Let's find out. These are parts for a customizable, modular, 3D printed water fountain. It's part desktop zen garden, part babbling brook. The assembly is, in itself, a contemplative act, or at least a creative one. When you're done, you'll have your own active moving creation, which you can rearrange anytime. So let's build one. Everything starts with the base. It's the main reservoir for the fountain, so it's gotta be watertight. I printed this with three perimeter walls and five base layers. That seems to hold the water well enough. If you normally print with lower temperatures, say 200 to 210 Celsius, consider increasing that to 215 or 220 for this part. The higher temps will help melt the layers together to create a better seal. Next comes the hexagonal plates. These snap right into the base. They're pretty secure, so your creations won't come apart until you want them to. There's three basic plate styles. Solid, which I don't plan to use, but it's a pretty good starting point for remixing your own designs. Next is perforated. This lets water flow right back into the reservoir. And finally, there's the wire plate. This is a lot like the perforated plate, but it has an extra slot to pass through water pump cords. It's not much of a fountain yet, so let's add a pump. At the time of recording, this mini USB powered pump was available on Amazon for $10 US. I'll link to it in the video description. This particular pump has a flow setting, which makes all the difference between a calm flowing fountain or a complete mess. This pump can push water into one of four fountain designs. The simplest of these is the tower fountain. Water flows to the top, cascades down a few levels, and returns back to the reservoir. Since water flows in every direction, this part really works best only in the center cell. To avoid printing supports, this and all other fountains are printed in two parts. There's the main fountain itself, and a custom plate. You can hold the parts together with super glue, an M3 bolt, or both. If you're using M3 bolts, it doesn't need to be precise. Anything between 4 and 16 millimeters long will fit just fine. The waterfall fountain is next. Depending on your pump settings, this fountain will either direct water down along its side or out in a flying ribbon. Just don't aim the water jet outside the base. This plateau fountain is designed to guide water through a series of shallow bowls until it reaches the basin. Counting the initial plateau, there's room for up to four elevations for the water to flow through as it zigzags its way down. This rhythmic fountain was the initial inspiration for the project. It's based on a Japanese shishi odoshi, a device designed to scare off wild animals with an occasional percussive hit. These are typically made from bamboo and repeat their distinctive hollow sound about once a minute. This one runs quite a bit faster, so it's closer to a ticking clock. I wouldn't expect it to scare off any critters, but I like it anyway. With nine cells to work with, there's more than enough space to combine multiple fountains at once. So I'm going to use two pumps and join a rhythmic fountain with a few plateau pieces. For the empty cells, I have some smooth stones. I didn't say this had to be 100% 3D printed, did I? Next, I'll add this optional splash guard, just in case. Now, all that's left to do is to add some water and plug it in. I'd say it's done, but that's not exactly true. This is a display that's meant to change, either by rearranging what's already here or through creating completely new parts. That's right, I plan to design more parts in the future, including an even larger base. 
there's also a lot of room for more moving parts. This definitely needs a water wheel. If you have any ideas along those lines, let me know in the comments below. They may become future fountain parts. But until then, happy printing and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.